Cow Daily. Good day, everybody. Welcome to Cow Daily. Um, as you can see, I knocked that up on a uh, iMovie. Terrible. Anybody wants to knock a better one up, holler at your boy. So here I am in a field. What a beautiful day. The reason I'm uh, deciding to do this video, I've been threatening to do them like daily for a while. Obviously, we set the YouTube channel up a while ago um, for that reason. And um, obviously lockdown happened, there's never been a perfect time, wanted to get a studio, couldn't get a studio, and I think sometimes it's just, uh, you've just got to cut through things and just do it with what you've got. So I've got my headphones, and I've got my phone, and I'm just going to walk through fields and do this as much daily as I possibly can. Now today, I want to talk about why I'm for a hard lockdown. Now people who followed us for a while will know I'm not exactly the most government supporting person that there is strangely enough um, and there's been certain things pointed at as like oh you're just supporting the government da, 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 da. well I was doing masks social distancing all of that stuff um, before well as far back as like early March um, I remember it because it was my bloody birthday um, and the week before it I decided not to go out for my birthday because I just knew what was coming I mean we've got family who live abroad um, they were already in lock pretty hard lockdowns far harder than we ever had to deal with in fact what we had I wouldn't even class it as a proper lockdown so where we are today is I believe it's about to be announced today that um, in the northeast of England where, where we're based um, councils from Northumberland down to I think it's Sunderland County Durham uh, Gateshead, South, South Tyneside and 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 um, from Friday at midnight, one minute past midnight at least, we're going into a um, more stringent lockdown and um, what's being said is that uh, there's a curfew on pubs at 10 o'clock, um, you can't socialise with people from other households. Now what I've been told since I, I've posted on this and um, if you'll forgive us I'd like to keep this um, well, it's obviously not between us because there's kind of thousands of people, but obviously the person who's told us, I don't want to say who that is. And if you can, you can do all this like, oh, it's a load of shit or whatever you want to do. But this is what this person has told us. Apparently there's like really strong evidence of um, like cross contamination or whatever you want to call those bloody things. I'm not a doctor, but I try, I'm going to try and um, illustrate this as best I can. Um, there's strong evidence that like between households, that's where a lot of this is spreading. Um, also, quite obviously, that's going to be workplaces, pubs, all of this kind of stuff. Now, I get it completely. Like, it, the government messaging is so incoherent. And why, people ask, do um, we still get have to go to work, schools are still open, all of this. Simple answer is this. Let's not overcomplicate things. It's the tension between the needs of the economy the needs of public health, and by that public health, I mean people. Um, now, there's the, the flip side of that is people say, "Oh, the economy shuts down, and um, you know, businesses will go under, suicides will rise, and mental health, and all of this." Totally true. Can't can't refute that. That's exactly the case. But if you've been following us for at least a short while, you'll have seen us completely banging on, um, as people put it, um, about universal basic income. Um, I'm for a hard lockdown with universal basic income attached to that. It can't work otherwise because naturally people can't feed the family. So what are they going to do? Um, they're going to go out and try and earn money or get food to feed the families. And that means coming into contact with other people. And the stark reality is we're going back into lockdown because people have done that. Something I'd like to point out as well, um, racists all over the place when um, Oldham and Bolton and other places with large Muslim communities have, um, when they went into lockdown, straight away, racist trolls, oh yeah, well we all know why that is without saying why it is. Well, how do you like us now? The northeast, pretty much 90 odd percent white. Where I'm from in Gateshead, it was 97.1 percent white at the last census. So, tell us this how is this just down to on racial lines you need to just shut the fuck up to be quite honest like none of that is helpful and quite frankly 
it's, load of, it's just complete bullshit. Like, the data bears this out. But for some strange reason, people want to take their opinions from memes on the internet still, like after all this time, rather than hard evidence. And the evidence like supports the claim. If we're going into this like more restricted lockdown period here in the northeast and other places in the country, then quite clearly the government have not got on top of this. It seems to me that like the further right wing narrative now is oh it's the councils to blame. Now I'm no no fan of Nick Forbes, and for people who don't know, um, we've had a bit of a boxing match in the past at times. And uh, not literally, but you know, we've butted heads before. And um, I'm in full support of what he's what he's doing uh, um, in terms of what he's trying to bring in locally alongside the other heads of councils. Simple facts. It's the sim- It's the it's the thing that has to happen. Um, there's no. We've got no choice. I mean, we do have a choice. We always have a choice. I mean, we all had a choice to either stick to things up to now or not. And I'm not pegging this completely on. The government or whoever else you want we all have personal agency and what that means is we all have choice um so what i'm going to say to you is um i've seen the reaction locally well it can't be enforced i'm not doing it um i'm not uh, like oh the government have totally fucked this like this is ridiculous if it was good for dominic cummins la 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 that was when it changed that was when the psychology of things changed. And, you know, far be it for me to be a conspiracy theorist, especially by how much bell injury I'm subject to of, of conspiracy theorists. But I would suggest that it was maybe a little bit planned. The way it was and the timing of it was just too perfect. Now, people have um, said this is in service to this so-called herd immunity thing. Um, I don't see any evidence to point any any different. It seems like really convenient that it happened at that time. And I wrote about this at the time, and the general uh, sense of what I was saying was, I will not be honeydicked into doing what they want me to do, and some like phalanx of nudge psychologist wankers nudging us in, into certain kinds of behaviour. Behavioural psychologists at play, it, it appears. Now. Sounds ter- terrible and you wouldn't like to think that of your government. Here's a, an il- another illustrator. People who follow us for a long time know of my absolute burning hatred of Margaret Thatcher. However, I would rather have her now as Prime Minister than any of this pack of utter charlatans. Um, at least you knew where you stood with her evil. This lot, <sighs> absolute shite bags. The worst, the worst government in UK history. I mean, at this point, if you think otherwise, then it's just a level of delusion that you just can't, I just can't engage with. Like, how can you even look at the evidence of what's went on and what hasn't went on as well and suggest that they're in any way competent? And then, like, this is before we even factor in Brexit and what's to come later on. Um, but as I say, it's got to be a hard lockdown. I mean, how else can we, we do this? Um, I really don't know, and I really don't know how um, we're expected to get even further through this entire thing um, without each other. And uh, like the reason why I'm like I am, right, is I always think of like my friend who's been like locked down for like on shielding for this entire time, barely haven't been able to leave the house. And can you imagine the conversations that we're having? Um, regarding like when she's going to get out. It doesn't look great because people are running around like dafties and they're using whatever they can to give them carte blanche to go ahead and just do whatever the hell they want. Um, if we don't do it, Christmas is going to be cancelled. And I just sound like... <laughs> sounds like I'm like chastising the naughty Ben, but like that's like what, what the energy is coming off the back of Cummins and Barnard Castle. People just going on like naughty bends, dummy out. I mean, do you, I don't like this. I hate this. And one of the reasons why I wanted to speak on this, like literally rather than write about it, I think right, the written form takes away a lot of the emotion and certainly some of the nuance in what I'm trying to say. And hopefully that you're hearing a human voice 
um, and this will get across. Like, I'm not into this either, but you know what it is? I know I've got to do it, and evidence supports that claim. Feel free to um, pepper the comments with reasons why I'm wrong. I'll hear you out and I'll listen to you as usual. Um, but the level of abuse at the minute as well is absolutely just a disgrace. I mean, I took a day off from it all yesterday, um, simply because it's a disgrace and I'm charged up again. I mean, a lot of that's like water for ducks back, but the sheer volume of it recently was just like, I oh, just fuck off. Um, if you don't want to engage on, a, on good faith terms, don't expect me to do that either. Do no harm, take no shit in it. But things that are keeping me sane is things like this. Every day I'm coming into nature. So what can we do? What control, like I have this thing called control the controllables. It's one of the ways I live my life. So one of the things I can control is um, things like this. Coming out, getting me exercise. Um, coming into winter, a lot of medical people say um, we need to lose weight. Um, I was as heavy as I've ever been um, because I ate like I was on death row at the start of lockdown from burgers, slathered in cheese and all kinds of horrible stuff. So I ended up like 221 pounds. I'm now 198 pounds and because I took a grip of it about two months ago um, and it's a blessing. So if you're able to, um, now's the time. We've still got a little bit of decent weather. Get after it and um, give yourself a fighting chance, I suppose. This is this shit's real, man. It's like it's the the whole quality of this discourse has been dragged into the gutter. And now, I mean, people who've followed us for a long, long time will know that on the um, podcast we used to do a segment called Triangles, and it was about conspiracy theories. And um, some of them are true, but you know what it is with all this pandemic, or sorry, as they call it, pandemic stuff. I have done the research. I wouldn't do you like that. I've done the research. And you know what? Load of fucking shite. Absolute bullshit. Um, please, when you're, when you're um, looking into this kind of stuff, if indeed you are, type the thing that you're looking into and then type debunked after, after you've read some of that material. Um, <laughs> yeah, just do that. Just do that. <laughs> if you can do one thing, do that. But look at that, isn't that beautiful? So sometimes it's about where we point our internal cameras. And um, one of the reasons why I want to come out and do this stuff is, yeah, we don't have a studio at the minute and this is all we've got. But also I'm very aware that a lot of these are shielding. Um, so I'm going to do whatever I can on an almost daily basis um, when I get out and do the, the walks and my control the controllables to point the camera at it and show you is that there's still a world out here and I'm sorry that you have been on hard lockdown for seven months, eight months even. And I'm sorry that there's people out there who don't seem to give a shit. Um, I bet you they do though. I think they're just tired too. Um, and I'm sorry that every day you have to read that, oh, it just affects the old and vulnerable and that you know it means you. And I'm sorry that you feel like humans have let you down. And I just want you to know that there's millions of us out here who care and we're doing everything and we've, we've been doing everything that we can for you. Um, just love to you as all really as ever. This has went on quite long. I could probably talk for it. I could definitely talk on it for much longer, but I'm not going to. So this is the first of the cow dailies. They'll evolve over time. Um, also as well, um, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, if we're gonna go forward with this stuff, um, I need to get it monetized. Um, so that means obviously subscribers, but also 4,000 watch hours. So um, please help in, in that and help we get it to where it needs to be. Because look, I'll do this full time if we have to, and we'll just make it more sophisticated and better as we go along and we get more resource. Um, so yeah, comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Much love as ever. Enjoy the countryside, my friends. Please comment, rate and subscribe. Cheers, horns.